would like to talk to you today about a number of initiatives to enhance the University of Limerick student experience, both multilingually and multiculturally. My early years in UL coincided with the launch of the Erasmus European program in the EU. In fact, this European program is celebrating here its 30th birthday. In the case of UL, it meant at the time that what was called the Department of Languages and Social Studies felt very strongly about establishing a European exchange of some form and I was still in contact with my own home university, the University of Angers, and it's with great enthusiasm that uh, we started a, what we called at the time a mobility uh, program for both students and staff. I would like now to introduce Catherine, my colleague, because she's a, Catherine's story is a living example, or a perfect example, of this type of collaboration between my home University of Angers and University of Limerick. I benefited from the well-established language exchange which brought me to the University of Limerick from my home University of Angers in France in 1994 uh, to both study and work as a lectrice. 20 years on, I'm still here. At the time, the foreign student community was already vibrant thanks to initiatives such as the International Society, which provided support to the incoming international students. I remember, for example, taking part in events where both uh, European and American and Japanese students were also present. Through my work, I was in close contact with Marie-Thérèse, who in the early 90s had established a translation class where both French and Irish students were working together. This tandem work was actually very constructive and it, it served a purpose. On one hand, we had the Irish students who used it as a preparation for pre-mobility, pre-period abroad, and the, the, the Erasmus students used it as a kind of, I would say, an integrative tool to the UL community and to, uh, more generally, to the, the Irish society. But we felt, since it had been going on for a good 10 years, we felt that why keeping it so specifically for these students? Why not? letting all the students avail of this type of program and widen it to uh, the UL Student Society, language and non-language students. And that's what we did when we created the, the so-called language exchange program, which is a face-to-face -face language program. This face-to-face -face language exchange meeting is one of the initiatives provided by the Language Learning Hub. It brings together home students and international students to practice their target language, to uh, learn more about each other's culture and to develop new friendships. Because of the fact that a new cohort of international students come to UL every semester, we organize these language exchange meetings twice a year. Each semester, it attracts over 200 students including UL undergraduate and postgraduate students, as well as international students from many nationalities. While researching this topic, we have established that over the years, over 20 languages were represented. It is open to students from the four faculties and with various levels of language competencies. In recent years, we've uh, observed a new trend. While in the past, the main focus was language improvement, in recent years, we have noticed that students also take part in these programs to be paired up with students who, 
whose language they don't speak, simply to discover a new culture. This initiative encourages self-directed learning. Indeed, we provide the facilities for students to pair up with partners, and we also provide guidance to make these partnerships, partnerships successful. Yet, some students felt that they needed a more supportive and academic type of initiative, which led a team of members of the school to develop a new initiative in 2012. These extracurriculum discussion groups were created at the time. The principle of this discussion group is to train a group of Erasmus and international students who then go on to facilitate discussion groups and one-to-one -one sessions in French, German, Spanish and Japanese. They are delivering those sessions on, on a regular basis after receiving some training. We train 30 to 40 facilitators every year and they go on to provide roughly 300 hours of practice to our students. Naturally, many of our language learners avail of this fantastic opportunity. The facilitator also gain from this initiative as they report that they're improving their knowledge of the Irish culture, but they also develop transferable skills such as timekeeping, leadership, teamwork, etc. The facilitators can undertake this initiative on a voluntary basis or, or as part of a mini module. In parallel to these face-to-face -face on campus interactions, we also uh, implemented online uh, projects. To give you an idea, we have a discussion forum that is actually taking place via our virtual platform, Solus, and it actually invites European Erasmus students and Irish students to come and debate on European current issues. These diverse projects contribute to the broadening of the UL student experience. We firmly believe that it also contributes to the internationalization of the UL campus, the internationalization at home of students in a very authentic way. And we wish to pursue this endeavor. If you would like to find out more about these various initiatives, please feel free to contact me, Marie-Thérèse Batardière, at the School of Modern Languages and Applied Linguistics at the University of Limoges.